this is a part of that. So right now, you best believe, man, all of your eyes of creation is rejoicing right now. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys are coming together in righteousness, in the spirit of truth. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to have no fancy schmancy pagan rice and, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't got to wear white chasing off some spirits because that's where it come from. You know what I'm saying? You're a man. This is a woman right here. Hey, I'm probably going to be panning so I can get her okay, face too. Said, let's so go ahead and get started, man. I'm just going to read a couple of scriptures and then we just going to, you know, I guess the Akin and Koti, they don't really want to say anything. So basically, I'll just man, say, you know, do you want to make this woman be, you know what I'm saying, your Isha? Hey, all right, let's go. All right. This is uh, Genesis chapter 2, and this is uh, the first marriage. And I'm going to read verses uh, 21 through 25. And it says right here. So Yah, Almighty, caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, and closed it up, the flesh, in its place. And the rib which Yah had taken from the man he had made into woman, and he brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. This one is called womb man, or woman, because she was taken out of man. For this cause... A man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, yet they were not ashamed. So we see right here, this is the first time that the word wife was used in scripture. When Adam said, this is flesh of my flesh, bone of my bone. And this is what you guys are doing right here. You know, so we, and I just want to read Colossians, the third chapter right here, because this is just talking about the order. You know what I'm saying? Kind of giving an established order of, you know, just the house. And it says right here, If then you were raised with Mashiach, seek the matters which are above, where Messiah is, seated at the right hand of the Almighty. Mind the matters of above, not those on the earth, for you have died. In this case, you guys are getting ready to die because we're going to go into the water of immersion. It says right here, And your life has been hidden with Mashiach in Yah. When the Messiah, who is our life, is manifested, then you shall also be manifested with him in esteem. Therefore, put to death your members which are on the earth, whoring, uncleanliness, passions, evil desires, and greed of gain, which is idolatry. Verse 6. Because of these, the wrath of Yah is coming upon the sons and daughters of disobedience, in which you also once walked when you lived in them. But now also put off all of these, displeasure, wrath, evil, blasphemy, filth, filthy talk from your mouth. Do not lie to each other, since you have put off the old man with his practices, and have put on a new one who is renewed in the knowledge according to the likeness of he who created him. Hallelujah. Verse 11. Whether Greek or Israelite, circumcised or uncircumcised, foreigner, Scythian, slave, free, but Mashiach is all and in all. Therefore, as chosen ones of Yah, set apart and beloved, put on compassion, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, patience, bearing with one another, in this case, bearing with your wife through trials and tribulations, because you guys are going to go through it. But what worth having is not worth fighting for. This is worth fighting for. You know what I'm saying? When y'all see you guys go in the water of immersion, this walk is worth fighting for. Love your wife. She is the weaker vessel, so Satan is going to come after her. You know what I'm saying? Show compassion towards her, as Yah shows compassion towards us. You know, we are married in the body of Mashiach. Mashiach loves us. This body, this congregation, is his bride. So we are all brides of the Messiah. Look how much he loved us. He gave his life for us. Have that same mindset with your wife. You know what I'm saying? Like we were talking about last night, man. Women are a gift. And as any gift with Yah, just like prophecy, the gift of prophecy, the gift of healing, you know what I'm saying, the gift of whatever, you have to be ready, you know, to receive that gift. And Yah has called you guys together. You are truly ready to receive this beautiful gift, which is this woman. Hallelujah. And you know what? I'm going to stop right there because that's the understanding of it. You know, that's the uh, that's the understanding of it. You know what I'm saying? This is truly beautiful. And you best believe the righteous Malachi in heaven are rejoicing. This is a sweet fragrance to the nostrils of the Almighty. So basically, I'm just going to say this, and we can have a prayer, and then we can do the immersions. You know, do you vow... To keep this woman, you know what I'm saying, you vow to be the authority figure in the, in the household, be a proper head, a righteous head, you know, in your household, to love, honor, cherish, and respect, and to keep this woman. Hallelujah. Do you, you know, 
vow to Yah and all of creation here standing before you today to be a righteous wife, you know, to be submissive, to be that Proverbs 31 woman, to help him when he is in need, you know what I'm saying, and to be that helpmate, which is what you were truly designed to be. Hallelujah, in Yahushua's name, man, this is, you guys have now become one. Let us say a prayer and let us, man, let us continue on. So, you, you know, you don't have to face, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, that was nasty. So, you know, right now, just where we stand, wait, hold up, wait a minute. Yeah, right now, where we stand, you know, oh just uh, bow your heads as we prepare to beseech Father God and ask him to pronounce his blessings upon this covenant. <coughs> you know, we can just stand where we are. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, as we come before you rejoicing, Father God, in the fact that you've given this man, this woman, and this woman, this man, Almighty God. Father Yah, as Messiah loves his bride, Father Yah, may this man love, honor, cherish, and respect his bride, Father Yah. And Father Yah, as we love Mashiach, Father Yah, may this woman be submissive, be, be that righteous helpmate, Father Yah, for this man. Almighty, we pray that you will bless this, which you have brought together, and what you have brought together, Father Yah, let no man, no demon, no nothing, Father Yah, put it asunder. Hallelujah, Father Yah. Almighty, you said when two or more are gathered in your name, your set-apart spirit resides. Father, you said anything that we ask in the name of your salvation, Yahushua the Messiah, it shall be. So, Father, Yah, may you please bless this marriage, Father, Yah. May they bear fruit with endurance. May they be fruitful and multiply, Father, Yah. Heavenly Father, just be with them, please, and protect and guide them. All this we do humbly ask in the name of our Master, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Example. Yahushua the Messiah. On one accord, Father Yah, we say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Toda Yah. Toda Yah. In Yahushua's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Now, it gets real right here. This, gets, this, this is the road right here. <laughs> the road you sacrifice for y'all. <laughs> yeah, the road you sacrifice for y'all.